All right, guys, so I want to make a quick note really quick. You'll notice that there's several of these elastic bands all throughout this particular BC here. Um, this particular diver here is using his to hold his inflator down. This is the one for his accessories, such as his flashlight, things like that. He's even got one here on the crotch strap that can be used to hold any excess webbing. And speaking of that, you could even put it on the waist strap itself so that once you thread your webbing through like so, it can hold the excess in as well. So it's not sitting there flapping around and they're very, very useful. But you'll notice that they're just elastic that's kind of sewed together and they can wear out, they can stretch out. Well, I'm gonna show you two more options really quick that might actually be helpful for you and be inexpensive as well. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now I'm gonna show you something really neat in this video. This is gonna be a simple, quick fix for you to get back in the water if you need something really quick. However, you can also use this as your everyday item on your BCD. If you take a close look to the right shoulder strap here, this is one of our customers' BCs. Notice he's got his flashlight and the flashlight's clipped off and then of course it's underneath this little elastic band there. And what that does, that allows it not to dangle. So if he's swimming around like so, his flashlight's not out here dangling around, it's nice and secure. Well, what if this elastic band wears out or what if you lose that elastic band? In today's video, I'm gonna show you two different options that you can go as well until you can get your band replaced. All right, guys, so I want to make a quick note really quick. You'll notice that there's several of these elastic bands all throughout this particular BC here. Um, this particular diver here is using his to hold his inflator down. This is the one for his accessories, such as his flashlight, things like that. He's even got one here on the crotch strap that can be used to hold any excess webbing. And speaking of that, you can even put it on the waist strap itself so that once you thread your webbing through, like so, it can hold the excess in as well. So it's not sitting there flapping around and they're very, very useful. But you'll notice that they're just elastic that's kind of sewed together and they can wear out, they can stretch out. Well, I'm gonna show you two more options really quick that might actually be helpful for you and be inexpensive as well. The first option, of course, there is a simple ranger band or a piece of rubber or a piece of inner tube. And one of the great things about that is it catches on that material. So it's not gonna slide up and down quite as easily, which means it's gonna stay in place. You're not gonna have to search for it whenever you're looking for it. But one of the things that I personally do is, and this is cause I've got two girls at, at the house, two daughters, is I simply use a hair tie. And the cool thing about hair ties is they're cheap, they're inexpensive, and you can get these a whole pack for like a dollar or two. And all I do is just simply take the hair tie and I'm gonna twist it over itself like so, basically doubling it over. And then I can thread it directly onto my strap system. Now, whether I'm using that on a shoulder strap for an accessory or in this case, I actually use it to hold excess webbing. So as I pull my webbing through and lock it down, I can use it up underneath there to hold that excess webbing and it works just fine. So these are great inexpensive options that you can go with and you can throw these things in your save a dive kit and they will last a very long time. If you do happen to break a ranger band or break a piece of elastic that's already on there, you can simply use this as a spare to get you going again. And of course, in my case, I just left it on there all the time and it worked great. So there you go, guys. That's a quick little tip for you. If you happen to break your elastic band or your ranger band or a hair tie, you've got multiple options out there. Let me know down in the comment section below which method you use, which one do you prefer, and which ones work best for you. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it. If you've got any questions, drop me a comment down below, and I'll try to answer it as best I can and as quick as I can as well. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Take care. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.